Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, and I pray and I hope that each one of you had a beautiful and a safe night's sleep last night. I doubly pray that when your eyes open this morning, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right just in case I missed something on yesterday. You may be getting up and getting dressed to prepare breakfast for your children, for your husband, for yourself. You may be getting up to get ready to go to work, drop the children off to school, go to the grocery store, just take care of the business of the day, whatever it is. I ask you before you start your busy morning to open your ears and radiate your mind and let it go on down to your heart. And let the heart pump the word of the morning. And the word of the morning is carry, carry, carry. What are you carrying this morning? Who are you carrying? And who's carrying you? That's the key. Who's carrying you? That in help you to carry someone else. Let's look at the definition of carry. Support or move something or someone from one place to the other. To hold something or someone in your hands, in your arms, or carry them on your back to transport them to keep them safe, to keep them secure, and make sure that they get to where they need to get to. Carry. It's essential that we know who's carrying us and where they're carrying us to. It's essential that we know that. I pray and I hope that you know who's carrying you this morning. Not just assume, and not just think, but sincerely know who's carrying you. Ephesians 4, 14 and 15. That we henceforth be no more children presents the opposite of maturity. And speak of those whose faith is in that which is other than the cross. Tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men. <laughs> no, who's carrying you? <laughs> Don't be tossed to and fro like leaves going down the street that's been carried by the wind. Make sure that your doctrine is secure, firm, and solid. See, Satan uses people just like the wind blows the leaves down the street and the leaves don't know where it's going. It's just been blown by the by the wind. And cunning and craftiness is everywhere. <laughs> you know, people think that they are smart. They think they are cunning and they think they are crafty. But if you know who you who's carrying you, you need not worry about those roadblocks <laughs> that have been placed there. This they make a way other than the crowd. Oh, they good by leading you down that road to darkness, that road to hell, that road that leads nowhere. Which seems to be right, you know. The Bible said, there's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is destruction. Know who carrying you this morning. Whereby they lie in wait to deceive, reference to the delivery. They deliberately plan 
to destroy you. That was a for instance, and we just celebrated the resurrection. And they trying to change the meaning of the resurrection to something else. Know who carrying you. Know who carrying you. Don't let people say who's carrying you. You know. And you stand firm in who you know that's carrying you. Fifteen. But speak the truth in love, powerfully proclaiming the truth of the cross. If you speak the truth, do it firm with power. Proclaim it with power. Don't be afraid. But always make sure when you speak the truth, it's with love and, and not being cunning and crafty. May grow up into him in all things. See, the proper spiritual growth can, take, can only take place according to the proper faith. See, if you got God-like faith, growth is going to automatically come. And everyone that's around you going to grow also because you speak in truth. Which is the head, even Christ. Christ is the head of everything down here because it was placed in his hand. It was placed in his hand. And he gave us the spirit to make sure that we're going to be carried by the right source. Do we know who is carrying us in all things? Do we know? <laughs> Only you can answer that. Only you. So let us remember, if you don't know, let us remember the last portion of the verse. May grow up in him in all things, which is the head, even as Christ, Jesus, is the head. Is that the one carrying you? And if the Lord Jesus says the same, I will see you on Thursday. Be safe. Be blessed. And please, whatever you do today, know, without a shadow of a doubt, that you've been carried by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, all day long.